It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele in the wide positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And the match begins. Maneuvering forward is Griezmann. Well, oh, disappointing end to the move. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished. Hold on, Derek. Chance here. Not out of the woods yet. And there it is. Living history, the opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it dropped straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Oh, that's a really good run. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Great pressure to win the ball back. Diogo Dallo. Plenty of support here. 
Ronaldo at the ready. Still not clear. And still looking to get the shot away. Well, when you attempt a bicycle kick, you've got to get it spot on, Stuart. Well, he just makes the wrong contact, doesn't he? The intent was right, but the end product is way off target. Giroud. France sloppy in possession here. Chouameni. Possession one. And he's won the ball. He's got space. Hernandez. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Bernardo Silva. Diogo Dallo. Chance to play it in. Struggling to get it away. Joao Felix. Can he find the angle? And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Felix towards Bernardo Silva. Well, threat averted. Teo Hernandez. It's with Giroud. Well, Portugal with the ball again. Bruno Fernandes. Aim towards Ronaldo at the back post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Looks like a twisted knee from down here. And you can just see him trying out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, the supporters think it's on. Ronaldo, now they've lost it. It's going to be a throw-in for Portugal here. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Neves. Ball played nicely. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, nothing comes of it. Griezmann. Griezmann. The cross is on. Cross blocked. Now, how about the short corner? Dembele with the cross. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. This looks promising out wide. Bruno Fernandes! Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Felix. Here's Bernardo Silva. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position, only just. Radio. Well, very effective play in possession. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Guerrero. Good move in the making from France. And successfully cut out. Bruno Fernandes. 
Diogo Dallo on the ball and space to attack that's a useful cross and a time for cool heads Olivier Giroud and the counter looks on here options available well they seem to be onto something positive but it faded away nice and easy for the keeper And with that, the first half draws to a close. So, into the second half here. Portugal with the advantage, but absolutely no room for complacency. A bit of running room now on the wing. The delivery. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, no damage done. Griezmann. Dembele. Oh, managing to beat him. Surely the equaliser. Still could be dangerous. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So back underway following the equaliser. Number 10, Kylian Mbappe. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Griezmann. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb. It's a great goal. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the oh, ball Stuart, so far. They might be onto something. Ronaldo! They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Griezmann Dembele on to Giroud and that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area and the upshot of that is offside well he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up well 
Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, no stopping him. And he read it well defensively. Joao Felix. Felix. That's excellent defending following the cross. Coman. Moving it forward. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Yes, man. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Come on. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. And still trying to get forward, Griezmann. Oh, fancy footwork. Terrific block. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Oh, in with a chance! Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And now the play has stopped. The referee can administer the booking. <laughs> Playing it in. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Just 15 minutes remaining. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Neves. Oh, it's mischievous. And the keeper more than alive to it. Well, he's tried to be clever, but he just didn't get enough on it. That's a comfortable save. Griezmann. And well, a good tackle. Can they grab the lead late on? He's got to score! And foiled only by the crossbar. And off the bar that time. Well, that would probably have been the winner. It's so unlucky. Is there going to be a dramatic finish here? Let's hope so. Yes, in possession again. And maybe another opportunity developing here. Ronaldo. Ruben Neves. Can he put it away? Really good block. Bernardo Silva. Will he finish? Oh, a goal! And how important can that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here on the attack in the closing phase but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Guerrero and he has options available Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. An effective cross. And nobody applying pressure. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here.
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but look at the defenders. They lose their concentration, become sloppy with their marking, and as a result, they find the ball in the back of their net. Just not good enough. Giroud. Aurelien Chouameni. Tension building, still level. But they took care of the situation defensively. Simple catch, really. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Bruno Fernandes. Options in the centre. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not really the ideal clearance. Bernardo Silva. Now will the cross work out for them. Cleared away. Bruno Fernandes. Well, tremendous block. And he's clear as lines. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. Yes, sheer entertainment. That pretty much sums it up. The referee has given a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the danger's still on. Well, they survived the attack. Well, that certainly wasn't a clean challenge. Over to the referee. What did she think about it? Well, he's going to be taking no further part in this match. Well, it's not a clever challenge, is it? They're going to have to dig in now. Radio. And teammates around him. And he takes on the shot. And a decent save for credit. Ronaldo. And given away. Cristiano Ronaldo. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. How can he take them on and beat them? Come on! And the keeper more than equal to it. And time for the change now. Whipped in by Griezmann. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Giving the ball away. Kamavinga. Turam. Oh, he looks threatening. And a After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Yep. Able to get a body in the way. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Defenders need to cover. Given away by Guerrero. 
to Ham. Well, they still have designs on the win, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Blocked by Pepe. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Eduardo Camavinga. Turam. Oh, a goal! And how important can that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Turam well a classic example of how to intercept on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly superb block time is not on the side this corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Now veering in field. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And a goal! Well, it's arrived late for the 10 on the pitch. But they won't be complaining. Tremendous fight back. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Well, a fantastic final. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And it's gone in. Can he convert? And confidently converted. As straight as an arrow. And he steps up to take his penalty. And the penalty converted here. I think we might just have witnessed the unstoppable penalty. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, dead centre with that penalty. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. That wasn't easy to do. Superb execution. Well, a successful kick here, and that will be that. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.